Welcome back to Crypto Malaysia. My name is Aaron, and today we'll be covering a project called Celo. Now, Celo is known as a competitor to Facebook's Libra. Now, Facebook's Libra obviously had a number of uh, setbacks, well, most notably the pull out of uh, Visa and MasterCard. But Celo is more of a decentralized uh, program, and they have an alliance with Prosperity, where they have a lot of partnerships. They're very active in hackathons, giving out a lot of grants to famous companies around the world. And particularly those in the third world countries such as uh, you know, Southeast Asia or Africa. Uh, as you can see here from the metric, um, they are off to I think a decent start. There's uh, 110,000 wallets, but uh, because of the ambition of this project, I think uh, their target will be around you know possibly in the region of uh, one or two billion dollars. So it is still very early on in this project, and uh, this project has a. Uh, couple of special things. Uh, first of all, they're very mobile friendly, so they make it very easy for uh, projects or uh, payment companies to utilize and uh, build the mobile app, integrate with uh, the seller wallet. And they also have a stable coin called CUSD. And so far about 40 million of uh, CUSD has been issued. And also make it usable by linking the mobile phone uh, number to your wallet address uh, because as you know right now if you want to send and receive the currency we have to deal with wallet addresses where we copy and paste so they intend to solve that problem so um, over here this is uh, how the exact mechanism of uh, how they link the wallet address to um, to your phone number after which uh, it would be extremely convenient uh, these are some of the current holdings uh, that is backing the CUSD um, so-called uh, issuance, uh, as you can see, is uh, uh, well collateralized. It's over uh, collateralization system. And in terms of uh, the alliance um, for prosperity, they, they do partner with education setups, uh, such as Laboratoria here in Mexico, for a food program, which is more of a charity uh, that uh, intends to give financial tools to refugees, and also more of a merchant you know, payments uh, application with uh, C Labs here. So this is a dApp kit, so it's extremely easy to uh, develop a dApp using this kit. There are uh, several nice papers on their protocol, technical and uh, economics, which uh, I highly recommend you to look at. And there's also kind of like uh, the concept of uh, uh, ultralight sync. Now, the interesting bit here is actually um, in uh, this statement here. In the future, Celo will support ZK Snart based proof of uh, ultralight sync mode, which will lower the sync time even more. So I believe this is um, probably what we covered earlier on with uh, the Mina project, where they actually use uh, zero knowledge proof to reduce the entire blockchain down to a proof size of only 22 kilobytes, which is the size of a couple of tweets. So if they have that, then uh, I believe that uh, that, that will really improve uh, their protocol to a point where you know, not only you're able to transact over a mobile phone using a mobile phone number, but also you'll be able to achieve true decentralization by having each and every mobile phone host a node. So uh, if you want to be involved, there's many ways to get involved. Uh, you can be in a community or you can choose to run a validator. There's some requirements here and uh, obviously there's some, uh, some incentive for you to be a validator. So that's it for me. Uh, I think Celo is extremely promising, and I think uh, definitely with uh, the kind of partnership, the strategy, and the kind of uh, you know um, progress they've made in the project, I think they have a very good chance to be perhaps the uh, you know single uh, most used uh, payments uh, infrastructure, blockchain-based uh, payment infrastructure for the world. So that's it for me. If you like my video, click like or subscribe if you want to see regular updates. Thank you very much.